I'm at the bottom of the, of the glen today. Uh, to my right is Loch Actreaton. And the reason I'm here is this cottage behind me called Acton Bay Cottage. And you'll have to excuse my pronunciation. Um, a lot of the locals around here know it as Elliot's Cottage. And the reason for that is generations of Elliot's have been living in there. They were shepherds in the glen and looked after it. And unfortunately, sadly, last week, Walter, at the grand old age of 91, passed away. And I thought it'd be quite nice to do a vlog as a bit of a mark of respect for the for the generations of Elliot's. Um, it, it's funny you, you you meet lots of uh, locals and the sort of the, the old locals that have been here for years, and they've all got great stories of the Elliot's. Um, they used to be good good partiers, liked a wee dram now and again. But their main thing was they were here in the Glen rescuing mountaineers who were in trouble well before Glencoe Mountain Rescue was around. So, uh, and the, the sad thing is, 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 is Walter and his, his brother Willie and his, and his uh, sister Doris, they all lived in there, but they never had any children. So it's a bit of an end of a sort of era, really, with the Elliots sort of passing away and, and the cottage will, will go back to the National Trust, I'm afraid. Um, so, yeah, it's a little, little sad. So my plan is going to be, to so the mark of respect, I'm going to try and head up to behind the cottage is a big waterfall called Elliot's Downfall or the Tears of Glencoe, I've heard it referred to. And it's a wonderful waterfall, but I've never really been up there. So the plan is going to be is trying to walk up to the top of the waterfall here and see if I can get a good shot with the mountains behind. I've never been here but I do sit, know that the terrain is quite steep um, at the waterfall. So I've got a couple of concerns. Do I get too close to it and I don't get the waterfall? Or when I get there, it's just too big and I can't get to it. The other concern is there's a lot of low cloud around here today. And if some of that gets even low, which it has been doing over the last couple of days, it could get over the top of the waterfall. And then I'm in trouble because I'm just going to have mist. So it's worth the effort. I'm going to give it a go. I've not got the dog today because it's a bit steep terrain. So I thought I'd keep the dog away for safety reasons. Um, so I'm going to miss her, but I'm going to get up there. I'm going to have a look and let's see how we get on. I'm up the track a little bit now, not too far, and I've got a couple of little niggles worrying me as I'm walking up. Um, there's a bit of rain about, I can feel it splashing on my face here. Uh, the cloud is really quite low, it's been quite low all day actually. There's a bit of wind which is blowing it, not too bad, but my big worry is if this cloud gets any lower later on, I'm going to end up not seeing the waterfall at all, which will be a bit of a disaster. Um, the other problem is the terrain is really quite steep, it's really quite steep ground, and my concern is if when I get there, maybe the ground is too steep and I might be just too close to the waterfall and not really getting it all in and I need to be back a bit. I do have the drone, so worst case scenario, I can get back a bit with that. But the problem is with the drone, it's so windy, is I want a really nice slow shutter speed to give you that nice waterfall effect. And I'm not gonna be able to get that with the drone. So a couple of worries, but let's just carry on and see how we get on.
so time for a little bit of a geography lesson here well geology in fact I'm going to try not to bore you but it is actually quite interesting Glencoe itself is uh, very geologically renowned because it was a process called Calderon subsidence and what happened all this volcanics was about 420 odd million years ago the Devonian period when the two continents were colliding and uh, Glencoe itself was a big massive volcano and the weight of the volcano kind of got too heavy and it holds things slip back into the magma chamber and a geological process called Calderon subsidence and actually Glencoe was the first place that this process was actually found Ben Nevis is also the same so it is actually quite interesting and if I flip you around you can see this is the side of the Anik Do here and I'm going to come off a little bit track you up and can you see the Anik Do here very famous one of the three sisters of Glencoe but what you can actually see, if you look very carefully, I'm going to get the magic finger in, there's like a, a lighter bed of rock here, and then a darker section here, and then there is in fact another section down here. And what that is, is this is three lava flows coming in at separate times during the volcanic activity. And this activity was very aggressive. It, this isn't sort of Hawaiian soft nice gentle volcanoes with lava running down like you see in the movies this is kind of Mount St Helens stuff this is very aggressive very volcanic and um, due to the subduction of the two plates so it gives you that very acid they call it a lot of silicon so it's very aggressive volcanics here so yeah about 420 odd million years ago Just looking up at the steep slopes of the Anik Do here and this low cloud and the, the atmosphere that it creates it's such a magical place Glencoe you really do need to get here and just get off the beaten track a little bit I'm what 30 minutes away from the car park now and just having that different perspective it just makes you feel so unimportant when you have this mass of rock around you and I can just imagine little Willie and Walter hearing screams from stranded mountaineers up in these hills and having to dash out of their cottage and try and do what they could for the poor guys um, I mean this was when men were real men and and the Glen was nothing to play with in them days they didn't have the kit the helicopters and the radios that they have nowadays so uh, yeah hats off to Willie and Walter definitely I've just come over the brow of the hill now and I've got my first view of Elliot's downfall and honestly you can see this grin on my face I'm actually quite excited I'm going to flip you around and you can have a look at it and let me just scroll you up look at that actually looking really good I'm really pleased with it I wonder if I could get the waterfall on the right and then with the Anik Do on the left hand side one of the three sisters and look at that lovely mist coming in and it's just sucking into the old crags and look how moody this place is looking now um, so yeah I think that's going to be quite a good shot I'm actually delighted with this because I thought I was going to be too close and not be able to get anything so yeah I think there might be some potential here now when I set out here this afternoon I didn't really have too much hope if I'm going to be honest with you I genuinely didn't think I was going to get anything but I'm absolutely gobsmacked I'm bowled over how fantastic this is why have I never seen this shot anywhere else I'm absolutely gobsmacked that nobody's been here before and taken this classic shot which if you google images of Elliot's downfall you'll never see a good shot of it you'll never will so uh, I'm gobsmacked I really am I can't believe it and I'll show you what I'm going to do I'm going to flip you around and here is the the camera set up and can you see that lovely moodiness with the sky look at that moody sky and then the waterfall in the middle and some great foreground um, with some of these, these bracken which is vivid green so vivid green this time of year so uh, I'm absolutely delighted it's going to make for a great shot my only concern is this bracken is, is a little bit windy so as you can see it's moving about a bit so the problem is, is if I do take a shot with this bracken here 
I've got to be careful. I really wanted to slow this down and I am going to do a shot slowed down. But the problem is, is I'm going to have to peak my moment because with these gusts of winds, I'm going to see this bracken moving about in the, in the slow shutter. So I might take several shots here, see which one works out for me and I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah, I've come a little bit high here. I can see there's the waterfall, the, the, the second waterfall. And I'm a little bit above it, really. It's not giving me any shots here at all. Absolutely rubbish. I think what I might do is I might skirt on around and come down the bottom here and see if I can get something up here. Let's see how we get on. Hopefully my feet don't get wet. So it's a bit dodgy getting down to this section. Really steep terrain. So if you ever come up here, just be careful. It is a bit dicey. But I've got here and I've been well rewarded with this fantastic top section of the Elliot downfall. It's a wonderful shot and the great thing is, is is I've got no obstruction with trees there's only one tree which is just brilliant just to give me some scale but uh, yeah there's no there's no obstructions here and I've still got that big mountain behind so this could even be better than the shot I've just taken let's see how we get on right so I'm perched on this very dicey slope here it's a bit of a sheer drop to the left so I'm just going to keep looking right I'll show you the shot I've set up here it is and I've got this lovely foreground, all these lovely boulders come in here. The waterfall in the middle there, and then I've got that sky and that anic do with the very dominant crags on the top. So I really like this shot. I've set it as three seconds, I've got the six stopper on there as well. So that should slow everything down, and hopefully we're going to get something fairly magical here. Here goes. that I can't believe what a great two shots I've got I know from the camera that they're going to be brilliant uh, just that slow shutter in the mountains with that dominant manic do on the background I'm just absolutely gobsmacked I've never been in before certainly going to be here again I can assure you now if you like that video give me a thumbs up it's most appreciated it just helps me make more videos and it helps the channel and if you really liked it then if you click on the subscribe button and if you click on the bell there, you'll get notifications every time I post. Much appreciated. I'm heading back down now. Maybe a wee dram. Thanks for watching. I'm back home, there's no drinking and driving. Like I say, let's have a toast to the Elliots of Glencoe. So I've got myself a nice Highland single malt. Just a little one, mind you. To the Elliots. <laughs>